As a memoir spurs a campaign to abolish Sussex titles, Prince Harry accidentally shoots himself and Meghan in the foot. Despite Prince Harry's insistence that losing the Sussex titles will have no impact, a member of parliament is now working to amend the rules governing peerages. With the release of his biography Spare, Prince Harry might have effectively sealed his and Meghan Markle's doom and fueled the final campaign to have the Sussex title dropped, a royal analyst observed. In order to deprive the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of their titles, Conservative MP Bob Seeley has proposed amending the 1917 Titles Deprivation Act. According to Jonathan Sacerdoti, Seeley acknowledged that the autobiography was a major factor in motivating him to move forward with his objectives. Says Sacerdoti Bob Seeley first began to think about taking this action when the Netflix series was made available. He and I did, however, speak shortly after the release of Spare, and I don't believe that it made any difference at all. Many people believe that the book betrayed the royal family and the monarchy, and it has also been widely derided in various ways. Simply put, this isn't how royalty generally acts. The book contains more extensive and numerous claims against the royal family than ever before, which has lowered Prince Harry's favorability ratings and led many people to wonder why he should still use his title. Sacerdoti added as he spoke with Fox Digital. Seely intends to submit a private member's bill that would provide a vote to modify the 1917 Titles Deprivation Act, which was used to deny the German royal family their UK titles during the First World War. It is remarkable that a serving MP feels so strongly about the actions of Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, that he wants to use the same law to strip them of their titles. Back then, that level of treachery was considered a reason to remove royal titles. Only peers who have been found guilty of a crime or who have taken up arms against the United Kingdom are currently eligible for an immediate peerage removal. When the First World War was still raging, the act was drafted, and Prince Harry's great-grandfather George V used it in 1919 to deprive the Duke of Albany, the Duke of Cumberland and Teviotdale, the Earl of Armagh, and the Viscount Toff of Corin of their titles for fighting alongside the German army. In reference to the potential introduction of a member's bill to strip Harry and Meghan of the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Seeley said. A political issue exists. He is targeting several significant institutions in our nation, in addition to trashing his family and profiting off of his sorrow. Prince Harry might follow royal tradition and voluntarily renounce his positions, however, to spare himself the embarrassment of having the king take away the titles. The granddaughter of Queen Victoria, Princess Patricia of Connaught, gave up her titles in 1919 when she wed Sir Alexander Ramsay. She adopted the name Lady Patricia Ramsay in honor of her husband's status as the third Earl's son while maintaining her superiority over English marchionesses. Prince Harry would still be a Prince of the United Kingdom even if he gave up the Dussel titles he received after marrying Meghan Markle in 2018. Therefore, Meghan, who uses her husband's titles in the feminine form, would still be allowed to be referred to as the Princess Henry. Since her husband is the only male descendant of George V who has not received a royal peerage, Princess Michael of Kent is the only member of the royal family who continues to use the convention. Queen's grief over the passing of her father, King George VI, is expressed in a moving letter. The Queen masked her heartache from the general public, but she confided in a dependable former courtier about her intense anguish.